have a mushy rail. Most of the times people make a mushy rail because this is the shape of your hand. It's easier to sand. See these corners? These are very hot to laminate, very hot to finish. You tend to burn it. So this rail is a hard rail from the nose to this tail all the way. Follow me, Oscar. follow my finger, follow my finger. See? All the way. So there's two rails. There's one rail here and an inner rail. This allows the board to surf on the inside rail when the board lifts. If you're paddling correctly and you do your top arm drive, you lift the board. So when it moves, it goes from here to here. Nose, this line comes in when you lift the board and paddle. So there's three and a half inches on each side. That means you're paddling and moving on a 24 white inch white board, but you're standing on a 31 inch wide board. So if you see this line, it comes, you have a smaller board inside a bigger board. You can see this shape. Come around line. So, there's a smaller board inside a bigger board. If you take the camera around this way, you'll see that it has very little flat surfaces for friction. All this is air underneath the board. Drag is a flow, what I call a flow through concave. You can see, if I run water through here, it'll flow right through. Air will flow right through it. Come around. The volume of the boards. We take out all the volume in the nose. If you come closer, you see that the nose has very thin nose. There's no volume to it. Therefore, your swing weight is less. What do I mean by swing weight? Look, if you have volume too much on your nose, it's very hard to turn the board, right? You want all your volume to be in the middle. That's where you stand anyway. So when you pivot, that nose swings easy. Same with the tail, come. The tail is also thinned out. This allows you to swing the tail also when you surf. Right? You can always cheat on telling people how much volume in the board is. Unnecessary volume on the tail and the nose does nothing to help flotation. It should be here. So be specific about talking about volume. Maybe 16 pounds is ridiculously light. Nothing at all, right? But it's very hard to build this. The carbon net, come closer. The carbon net captures the glass, the S glass underneath and locks it in, allows it to flex when it has to, but stiff when it needs to be stiff this way. Um, we don't make a lot of this, it's purely a custom order board and uh, if you like it call me thank you and move with least amount of friction. This is our Team Rider lamination. It's called Carbon Vector Net. It's super light. It's ridiculously light for a 10-6 board. This weighs about 